I'm Jake. And I'm Joe. Um, this week we've set up an email account for all your loyal fans out there. Tell them about it, Joey. Uh, our email account is uh, Jake and Joe Jamboree at yahoo.com. Uh, basically, email us show ideas, or if you want to go on a date with Joey, email us that too. Um, this week, we know a lot of you guys are trying to figure out what you want for the holidays, what you want to ask your parents for, or whatever. Um, so this week, we're going to give you a video game review of the best video game for each system, um, so you guys can figure out what you want to ask for. Uh, first on our list is uh, Vice uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City for the PlayStation 2. Uh, basically, it would be a miracle for you to find this game during this uh, holiday buying season, because basically, it's, I think, sold out. I don't really check in on PlayStation 2 that much, but... It's probably sold it's out. I'm going to. <laughs> Anyways, the the game is a side story to Grand Theft Auto 3. And uh, basically you can do anything you want in the game. And uh, like, uh, I can't really explain what you can do because uh, otherwise we couldn't show it to you. <laughs> or tell you about it because it's that cool. Um, yeah, guys, you just get to do whatever you want. It's a really cool game. Uh, just imagine going into a city and being able to do whatever. Um, next game on our list is for the uh, all-powerful Xbox, uh, Splinter Cell. Uh, it's a game designed by Tom Clancy. Um, basically, uh, if you'd like to Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, you'll love this game. Uh, it's a, you're a secret agent that's sent in to do missions, kind of um, similar to like old nine other stuff, but it's a third-person shooter, and the graphics are incredible. The lighting and stuff in the game looks so realistic. It's awesome. I played a demo for it a couple days ago. Um, so. Basically, if you're into uh, third-person shooter games, uh, this is definitely a buy for you. Uh, it's definitely one of the best games on Xbox now. Uh, also on Xbox is Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. If you're more for like a sci-fi story, I'd go with that instead of Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell's better. Okay, let's go. Uh, our next lay on our list is GameCube, which isn't really getting much love in the USA right now. But uh, trust me, it's a really good system. Uh, the game we're reviewing for it is Metroid Prime. Most of you might have played Metroid on the original Nintendo system or Super Nintendo while you were growing up. Uh, basically what Metroid Prime is, is is exactly like that, but 3D. And it could be uh, called a first person shooter, but it's not because it's a first person adventure. Because most of the time you do puzzle solving and uh, more puzzle solving instead of <laughs> shooting most of the time. Uh, the graphics are uh, uh, fantastic. I mean, they're really, they're really good for uh, graphics. Uh, but seriously, buy Metroid Prime if you have a GameCube, because what's the point of owning a GameCube without Metroid Prime? Yeah, guys, I definitely agree. This is one of the best games on GameCube. Uh, I didn't really like the controls too much myself, but other than that, I thought it was flawless. Um, so uh, that's about it for this, this week, guys. Uh, in a couple weeks, though, we're going to release a first season set of Jake and Joe. So. Uh, Keep your ears open for that. And uh, keep giving us dollars if you want to get your name mentioned. Give us a dollar. Back, Back to, to you. you. <laughs>